Hi, I'm Steve Miller. Call me Slim. And this is the Slim Market Week. It's a look back at what happened in the financial markets in the past week. And a look forward to what might happen in the next weeks. And hopefully, lots of great ideas and opportunities for you throughout this show. Well, the stock market began to teeter last week as investors focused on rising interest rates and a hint of inflation. While there were several strong selling waves during the week, it was Powell and Yellen to the rescue. This has happened, well, for months and months. Monday, we were closed for President's Day. Still, S&P futures moved up 20 points in limited trading hours. Tuesday, stocks got hit as investors were nervous about the bond market moving down very sharply. That's interest rates moving up very sharply. And gold and silver not liking those higher interest rates moved down. I have a lot more to say about gold and silver later on in the show. Wednesday, stocks were weak early and then again rebounded into the FOMC minutes, where we heard, typically, the Fed will ignore temporary inflation factors, and the economy is far from where it needs to be, and there'd be no policy change soon as they see that uh, there is problems and they want to see first substantial progress. Powell was out there and yelling the same thing, talking about U6 uh, and uh, the fact that U6, uh, the real unemployment rate, was up around 10%. Of course, they're doing that because they want to keep uh, their policy the same, where they're highly stimulative. Um, they never pointed out the U6 before uh, when they were willing to let rates move up or willing to let things happen uh, that might look like they weren't as stimula uh, stimulating the way that they are. So it, it really all depends what serves them. Right now, the focus is on U6 which is up around 10%. It might actually be worse than that. So that allows them to keep their stimulus going. Thursday, the same story. There, were early, there was early weakness as uh, China data came out, and uh, they were trading lower, even though they expected them to be trading higher after the uh, return from their holiday. Uh, S&P 500 um, moved down pretty sharply, uh, like 45 points, and helping that to the downside, uh, was Walmart's earnings, which were really disappointed, disappointing, uh, and also the jobless numbers were pretty disappointing. Also, uh, the speculative favorites in the solar group also got slammed. So there were a lot of things uh, that were happening uh, that was making the market look bad on Thursday. But again, it was by the dippers as they came back in and the market recovered about two-thirds of its losses to only finish down a little bit on the day. Friday, well, Thursday night, there was selling after the close, which quickly, quickly reversed again thanks to Janet Yellen. She came on to CNBC and talked about that she said that big stimulus was necessary to keep the economy in recovery. So futures, which were down, moved up, reversed about 37 points from their low, as the new fairy godmother of MMT, that's the magic money tree, waves her magic wand as she and her partner, Powell, work constantly to keep the house of cards they created from collapsing. Also helping on Friday were some good earnings reports, and that's especially true out of Deer, which gained solidly 10% on the day. <clears throat> For those that have seen my longer term view on the stock market, you can see that either on YouTube or on our website, uh, where I did the Market Week New Year's show on December 31st, um, I talked about the longer term prospects for 21, and that I believed we would see a bear market. 
in support of that, um, there's some analysis that I want to share with you, a chart that I think is very interesting uh, that uh, I'm going to put up right now, and I think you will also find this very, very interesting. This chart is uh, from Tom McClellan. McClellan uh, from, uh, he's the origina originator of the uh, McClellan Oscillator. Uh, and uh, his site is mcoscillator.com. Uh, and uh, I, I think that he's a brilliant technical analyst. Uh, he's always been one of my favorites. Uh, and uh, of course, the McClellan Oscillator is very widely followed. This is an image of the put call ratio. Uh, looking back all the way back to 1998 and you can see in here that uh, there is an extreme situation what we see now in levels uh, as this is the S&P 500 as you can see as the stock market has moved up through all of this time frame that the uh, the CBOE equity put call ratio is down here at a level that is the lowest reading since uh, all the way over here, uh, this period in just before the collapse of the dot com dot bomb period. This shows you basically that there is a massive amount of calls being bought compared to the amount of puts. And what that shows you is that investors are all in on this bullish case. Uh, and uh, to quote the father of the activist Fed that we live now, this clearly is irrational exuberance. Clearly, when you look at that, it really states the case uh, that uh, the uh, amount of bullishness in this market is at a level of extreme. We've talked a lot about valuations and about the fact that uh, this market, by almost any reading, is at uh, historic levels. Well, this is just another one of those. And uh, like I said, uh, I believe that 2021 will see a bear market in it or the start of a bear market that may go into the following year uh, and this is a pretty good sense of uh, why that may be happening cute little tidbit that I thought I would bring you here and I think quite significant when we look at that coming up in this show uh, there's going to be a whole lot more uh, as uh, I'm going to bring you uh, the uh, gold silver gold silver ratio and the forecast of that and the SPY, uh, I want to make sure that um, you uh, go to uh, AskSlim.com and do subscribe uh, to, uh, you can do that for free. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to that channel, click the notification bell, uh, and give us a thumbs up on this video if you're watching it there on YouTube. Uh, become a Twitter follower at AskSlim.com. And any questions uh, on membership, uh, you can write to Matt at AskSlim.com. For the week right now, stocks uh, are mixed, narrowly mixed, actually. The NASDAQ is the weakest, down about a percent. The Dow Jones slightly up on the week. Bond market uh, is uh, very weak. It's the third week in a row. Uh, this week, 30 years drop about two points. And the 10-year yields move up by uh, 11 or 12 basis points. Gold market rebounds Friday, but still down about $40 on the week. Silver up about uh, 10, 12 cents right now at midday. And we really want you to watch what's coming up on that. Uh, the dollar is slightly lower, and uh, we could see a rebound soon. We think a minor bounce is in the cards. And the oil market had a reversal on Thursday. Uh, we think it's probably going to test 62 again before it really goes uh, anywhere to the downside in a significant way. So just thought I'd leave this chart, this uh, slide up here for a while so you could get a sense for what you need to do to really follow, begin to follow us. Also, I want you to know that our expanded Level 1 Membership Special is running. This is a great introduction to our services, education, and analysis. You get our Slimulator Momentum Tracker, which has over a 1,000 symbols and uh, canned uh, groups, scanning, sorting. This is for investors, position traders with a three-month-plus outlook. Uh, just fantastic. Our algorithms built in there. Uh, Stock Index Report Weekly, the Spider ETF Report Weekly, with all that tech 
technical analysis. You get our new trader workbench where you can organize and prioritize and save your work and track your analysis. Uh, you're going to get the archive to this show. You'll be able to go back and review everything we said in analysis. You'll get our uh, replays on our, um, our live events. Uh, I think you'll find those fascinating also and special member videos. All that $14.95 a month unbelievable but for this special price you can take a quarter three months just 30 bucks just go to asklim.com to join uh, there's a, a, a uh, scroll down on the front page and you'll see where you can join and also any questions write to Matt at asklim.com so I think that uh, will really help you good to get, get a good sense for what we do and you're gonna love that Slimulator momentum tracker and everything else we bring so we're going to do something <clears throat> a little different right now. This is the gold-silver comparisons, and we're going to look at the gold-silver ratio. And I think that you're going to find this pretty fascinating. Um, recently, uh, we showed to our members, mostly, key levels for gold. And we cautioned that gold was sloppy, and there was weakness, and there was a pretty good chance that gold was going to break down, break support, and if that happened, we would change our upside projections for the gold market, which we thought would go to new highs for the year. Well, that support has broken. And silver is much better. And, and I'm going to show you some things that confirm that. And I think you'll find very, very valuable uh, when we look at this. So first thing I want you to see is the uh, look at the... Um, uh, gold silver ratio is what we're going to look at. So I got to pull in some charts in here uh, for you to see. So here is the uh, gold silver ratio. So this will take a little bit of explaining because what we're looking at here is I've, I've taken the gold silver uh, ratio and, and divided it and established it at 65. Now this came from over 100. So right now, the gold-silver ratio has really come in very, very significantly over months. What we're looking at here, well, this right over here is gold, as I highlight that. And you can see that gold has taken a pretty good trip to the downside. At the same time, what this ratio has done is continued to weaken as you see it. So as this chart moves down, it's representative of the gold-silver ratio moving down. This big downside move here in the gold-silver ratio was that big uptick when the Redditors tried a short squeeze. Then it came back, but you could see here as gold has continued to weaken, the gold-silver ratio has continued to weaken. And based on what we see in here, and based on what I'm going to show you now, it is likely that we will continue to see that happening. So that's a look at the gold-silver ratio, and I wanted you to get a sense for that, because gold has been weakening consistently against silver. So now this chart I'm bringing in right over here is a little bit different also. And this is the daily chart of gold and silver. And what we're looking at here are some of our proprietary indicators. So what we have is uh, on, the, uh, on the chart are a few things. We have our slim ribbon, which is right over here and shows momentum conditions. We have our slim ribbon PO, which is down here, which not only shows the momentum condition when it's red, but also gives signals. In other words, telling you when it is likely that the momentum is going to continue. You can see that right there. So gold market, which we're looking at the six month daily in here, has turned weak as far as momentum goes. Also, this dash line in here is our reversal scout, which is also a directional indicator. So when the reversal scout is moving up and the momentum is green, it is likely you're going to get upside movement. When the reversal scout rolls over, and that is one of the earliest signals you'll get, then that essentially tells you that momentum is likely changing, and as you can see, it turned negative in here and has remained negative. Comparatively, look at silver over here as we look at the silver chart. And that is, the reversal scout here turned upward. The momentum is positive, and our Slim Ribbon PO, which is only available to our Level 4 members for use on the Thinkorswim platform, 
If you want to get this, please join Thinkorswim, open an account, do that through our website. Uh, we get credit for that, and you'll be able to have our proprietary indicators, in this case the Slim Ribbon PO, which is just a phenomenal indicator. And when you put this all together, what am I looking at? Negative momentum right over here on short term, we're looking at a daily chart. Positive momentum all signaled over here, and what that tells you is that you can expect that gold and silver, the, the relationship between them, which shows gold much weaker than silver, or silver much weak, much stronger than gold, is very likely to continue. That says to me that if you get some days where gold moves up and silver doesn't move up, move up as far, or silver moves down and gold doesn't move down as far, it'll probably be temporary and even give you an opportunity if you're interested in, in that trading that ratio. Uh, if not, this gives you a very, very good sense for that gold-silver ratio uh, and why it's being driven the way it is and the very significant condition changes that we see going on here where silver is much stronger than gold. So now what I bring you in here is our weekly analysis in gold. And the key levels that were broken right over here says to us that it is likely that the high for gold has been seen for the year. That's not something I wanted to say, but back here on December 17th, we said if gold gets over 1970, that it likely gets to 2100. If it fails at that 1970 level, it likely tests 1770. It failed at 1970, it's testing actually that 1767 number, so it did exactly what we cautioned about back in December. Here we said on 1217, the cycle shape indicated a rising phase, but it needs a momentum upturn. What happened was uh, that at that time, it got only a slight momentum upturn and then it turned down again. There's our momentum indicator right here for the weekly, and that now is pointing to problems. We believe that we're going to get a rally in here and that the cyclically this cycle is bottoming and this cycle will turn upward. That should get it up into this declining resistance zone. We'll call it up between 1845 and 1885 right in there. That, uh, in our opinion, would be a sell area. And if that happened, I think the percentage of advance for the silver market would be much bigger. Why do I say that? Forward slash SI. We'll look here as we look at the silver market, and you can see, again, the very different picture. While gold has had a breakdown below this key level, silver is actually in a very significant uptrend. This momentum in here is strongly to the upside, and while there is likely a little corrective period right in here, which might give you some chop in this area, it is then very likely that we're going to see upside move in the silver market that will likely take you up to these resistance areas, these targets right up over here, which is around $31 and over $33 up over there, and our monthly projections would have actually be higher up there. So right now you can see that we have a what we think is a likely track up here to 31, and then this green track up here to 33 we think is possible. So you could see the sharp contrast when we look at that, looking at gold versus silver, on the weekly, gold versus silver on the daily, gold versus silver on the ratio chart. Uh, all of that really points to the fact that silver is much better and still quite positive, while at the same time, gold is much weaker. Gold and silver are unhooking right now. In other words, they might move up and move down together, just as they always do. But silver is much better, as you could see in this chart right now. And maybe it's time for traders to unhook also, uh, as the real trade is probably going to be looking for opportunities to buy silver, looking for it to move to the upside in a much stronger way than gold probably can do right now. There you go, as we looked at that gold-silver ratio that I think is very, very significant uh, as uh, we looked at uh, very, very um, unusual charts probably. Remember, our level four members can ask us for these charts, 
and uh, that would then uh, maybe be helpful to you when we look at that. So that is uh, a, a, the important look at the uh, gold and silver market. So now we're going to move forward in here, uh, and uh, I got to have to bring up some of my other charts in here, which I accidentally closed. So just give me one second in here to uh, bring that up. Where did I put them? I hate when I do that, you know? That's not it. Boy, that's disturbing. Wow, that was annoying. I'm sorry for that interruption, but uh, I had to find the chart that I accidentally closed and then bring it back. All right, so uh, now what we're going to do is uh, switch over and uh, look at uh, a special that we have coming up. And then I'm <laughs> this is one of those times when uh, the uh, uh, the stuff that I'm bringing you is just flipping all over the place. So, so am I. All right, so uh, now coming up, we're going to do the stock market. <laughs> But uh, it'll take me just a moment to regather myself here as I was flipping stuff all over the place. And uh, let's take a look first at our level three special, which we've been running. And we're in the final week of that right now. This is education analysis and support for traders and investors. Uh, and 10 reasons to become a level three member and just take a look at that. And we'll tell you about our special discount for level three. So uh, what level three, what do you get in here? Well, you get a simulator ranking system, custom algos uh, of the 84 best traded symbols. It's our algorithms in there uh, for sorting on directional bias, uh, three, to, three to six week outlook, three different time frames and charts that are included in there. We've showed you examples of that. Uh, our trade ideas where we share analysis of one or two trading ideas a day using, using our total approach to analysis that we show you here all of the time. Ivory does an amazing job uh, with that, with a very, very good record uh, of uh, success, especially in directional decision making, uh, which is up about 70%, which is phenomenal. So our stock index report daily snapshot, technical analysis on the indexes, our stock index report live stream for short term traders. Uh, intraday charts with key levels uh, that's live support resistance acceleration zone uh, reversal scout those are 15 minute charts our new chart streams live which has all of the indexes index ETFs and, and GLD gold with our proprietary charts and indicators for traders of all styles just amazing amount of information that you get in level three plus you get our weekly stock index report, our weekly ETF review, which is in-depth analysis of key uh, spider ETFs, uh, Slimulator Momentum Tracker, uh, which has got that thousand symbols in it uh, that uh, is just great for investors or position traders with all of our algorithms built in, our library of 500 plus videos in nine categories, just amazing amount of learning that you can do and uh, our Market Week archive. You will also get our minutes where you can go directly to the point of the video that you're interested in. The new Ask Them Workbench, easy access to all of our content, trade planning tools, worksheets, everything, just all of that, just at your fingertips, all in our new workbench. All of this special three month trial, one third off. Normally we're 99 a month. It will be 66.75 a month if you take it for three months. Now, go to slim.com and uh, click uh, on the link that you'll see on the top of the page or email matt at slim.com for more information if you need it. Just absolutely uh, fantastic information. So uh, you will uh, love that. Uh, special trial, that's one third off, and this is the final week. Easy cancel, really. You just you want to cancel it after taking one quarter. Um, you can easily do that. Or to downgrade or upgrade or whatever you want to do. We make it so simple for you to do that. Information write Matt at AskSlim.com. All right, so uh, we are going to get here to the stock market. Uh, we're going to look at things maybe a little bit differently as I'm going to just bring you one extra thing that comes in off of our uh, level two membership, our trend and momentum conditions uh, for you to see actually the condition of the stock market. Uh, when we look at that. So let's switch over to the charts here. We were on silver, but we're going to go to 
SPY. So I added some arrows in here, and I showed this on the live event that we did on Tuesday. I put it in Future Speak on Wednesday because there are, there's some significant things in here I want you to look at. You'll notice the four black arrows pointing to the downside. There is some commonality in these cyclical rhythms. And you can see in here on the bottom, if you're new to this, these are the cycle brackets on the bottom. What they essentially tell us is the money flow, the rhythms in and out of the uh, individual symbol that we're looking at. It's, it's a very visual way to do it. And what we do is an art form, and you can see this in here. If you're really mechanically minded, this may be a challenge for you. Uh, if you're very artistic, then this will be very natural for you. But we're looking at these rhythms in the market. Now, what I'm looking at here, is, uh, when I look right over here, is that we've been talking about this yellow corrective zone that you see. There's one right over here, 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 and here. All of those are declining phases in the cycle rhythms where there's a nesting, each one of those. What's a little bit different about the ones with the arrows, as right over here, is that each of these had a decline and then a move up for about two or three weeks and then the real correction sets in. This was a decline to move up for about three weeks and then a three week correction. It was the shallowest of them all with only about a 6% decline. And uh, this one over here, you could see, didn't really have that dip, but this one did. A small dip, a move up for a couple weeks, and then two waves of a big correction in here. So that's where we are essentially right now as we look at this. We're going to see uh, that uh, the risky period that we've been talking about the next basically three to four weeks is at hand right now. And the, the stock market has begun to teeter a little bit. And while there hasn't been any dramatic selling, the same exact thing that happened right over here uh, is also happening right now. A break, a move up for a couple weeks, and then a downturn. Of course, COVID-19 hit here. 35% drop we're not looking for. We're looking for more for a 7% drop that we see here down to about 366 now. We've upgraded this a few times as the price gets a little bit higher. So 7% uh, down 366, that looks pretty normal to us. That would be about a 250 point drop in the S&P 500, which is actually very small in one of these corrective periods. Of course, it could be worse, but we're not really looking for that. So we're entering into this risky period with some very similar formations going on in here uh, and that is really what we've looked at on our short-term patterns also, uh, where we look at uh, the daily chart, and those have warned us that there's a correction likely coming, and that would be into the mid-March period, with maybe the first two weeks in March being the riskiest time period. So that is what we're looking at right now. This is the weekly cycle chart on the S&P 500, which points to the fact that we're in a risky time right now for what looks like to us as will be a modest correction. Something that I wanna to bring to you right now is something that comes uh, off of our daily snapshot. This is put out daily. This is from yesterday, uh, and uh, those members that are level two, three, and four actually get this, so if you take our um, level three special that we have going on right now. Um, this will be in that package, the SIR daily snapshot, great amount of technical information that you get every single day after the close. So this is what we're looking at from yesterday. For the S&P 500, for the short-term charts, and these are daily charts, and for the inner, for the near-term charts, these are inner day charts. All of the trend conditions have been powerful. So this is from November 4th of 2020. That's how long this has been pointing up. Since the last change of February 3rd, right over here, uh, the momentum, so this is the trend condition, this is the momentum condition. Since February 3rd, so this is the last 16 calendar days, this has been pointing upward. You know what the market's been doing. The reversal scout, which I showed an example of that when we looked at the gold and silver, has been uh, in this upward motion uh, up since February 5th. So you can see that for the last couple of weeks, the reversal scout has been pointing upward. 
But for the near term, our intraday charts, there has been a weakening going on. So over the last three days, what's going on is the S&P 500 has gone neutral for the trend, neutral for momentum, and actually the reversal scout has turned down. So there's some little indication there of the market starting to stall. And certainly for short-term traders, it's given you this kind of information. And if you see what the market has done today so far on Friday, uh, here we are at the midday point, uh, the market uh, has given up its gains. And that's because it's we've had these signs in here that the market was weakening, a little bit of teetering uh, going on in there. Uh, for the stock market. So that's a, a look at that information as we've looked at the stock market, the SPY, which we think has got risk, a little bit of uh, indication how good the, the momentum and trend indications have been, uh, but now a little sign that that is now weakening. It's got a long way to go to really change before those uh, daily uh, conditions turn neutral or down. Uh, but as we've seen markets that go into corrections, that could happen pretty quickly, and that might be what is happening fairly soon. So there are those indicators right over there. As you can see, the daily uh, short-term conditions have been very solid as the market has continued to move up with a little bit of a change on the intraday, giving us a little bit of warning. Want to make sure that you go to AskSlim.com, you're a new member. Uh, if you're new to us, become a free member or become a new level one member on our special, just $30 uh, for a quarter, 10 bucks a month. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click that bell, you'll know when all of our information comes out. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and watch our members video on the playlist for past shows and things like that. You'll see some great stuff. Follow us on Twitter at AskSlim. Write to Matt at AskSlim.com for uh, information on our offerings, all of our educational offerings, our trials, uh, and uh, everything that we have available to you on analysis for traders and investors. That's the show. I want you to be so unbelievably careful. It is so crazy out there. And we're always wishing you great trading. I've been crazy.